Okay, so anything we need to go over before we get started? Well, I just wanted to clarify that Jet Beauties are probably not no what you would normally look for. And you're looking for a model model. Basically, y'all looking for me. Basically. Cause I, and what about what about this? I'll just be the beauty of the week. It's me they were looking for. Everybody can go home now. Kenya Moore was in Jet Magazine in the past. I know she was Miss USA. So I decided, you know what? Why don't you come on down and be a judge? All right, so let's, should we get started? Absolutely. All right. OK, I'm not gay, but that's pretty hot. I have a question. Have you ever seen me in a magazine? OK, um, I, uh, I'm the one who asked you the question. Look at me. I'm seeing more of a model's body than a Jet Beauty of the Week. But you're a very pretty girl. Thank you so much for coming. That's a man. No, I'm serious. I was looking for an Adam's apple. All right, next. Is this strip club jet or regular? Can we can you turn around? Can we see the back a little bit more? Girl, you show it. Okay? I, I say no to crack. <laughs> Is it true? Oh, Lots sorry. of crack. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like crack in the back, almost crack in the front. And you obviously didn't have time to shave. But the fact that you can actually put that on and walk in here and work the runway, <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Oh, you, you were representing the Jet Beauty very well. I couldn't understand why Cynthia was so comfortable in this situation. This is her agency. There are girls coming in there off the street looking like a hot ass mess. That is just, can, can we have a timeout? How do you come to an audition showing your coochie crack and your ass crack and think that's appropriate? That's that is inappropriate, that is highly inappropriate and I'm offended because I don't want to see coochie crack or ass crack while I'm watching an audition. That's, I'm, I'm offended. She was just like, coochie crack, coochie crack, coochie crack. Who does this? Like, what is wrong with you? You are a grown woman. I just think that there's a respectful way to, to let some, some of them are coming here. This is their first time yes, modeling. You need I don't to, think that you, you should to be stop. like Excuse wearing me, them who out. are you and why are you no, talking no, no. to me? Who I work are for the mail agency. You you to who me? are you? Because I've never met you. Excuse bitch, please. Bitch. Oh, excuse you me. You don't see you yourself. So I'm not holding up a mirror. You need to step off. I'm holding up a mirror. You need to step off. Excuse me, security. Security. I work here, dear. You'll be ushered out before me. I'm a public figure. I always have security with me. Thank Are you, you her security guard? That's why I pay him. Don't touch Thank him. You. She got loud with me because of one of my coworkers. I, he works for the school. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. This is out of control, so I have to, I have to step in. Have a seat. You don't want to go? I get it. All right. Tell anyway. your little bitch that. For her to walk anywhere with a bodyguard when no one knows who she is just makes no sense. Okay, all right. Um, I think going forward, we're gonna have to make a few rules. One rule is no coochie crack. Excuse me, I am speaking. This is not about trying to insult any of these women that are out here. That's not what the Bailey Agency is about. Or Jet Magazine. So, so. Or Jet Magazine. All right, who's next? That's it. That's it, she was the last That's one. It. So okay, so let's bring in all the finalists. My criticism is only to help. If someone hadn't taken me aside and shown me the correct way to dress for auditions, I would never book a job. May I just say, May I just say, we know it takes a lot to get up here in a bathing suit. Just know when you leave here that you are all absolutely stunning. Welcome. And I would like to say something as well. Since we are here at the Bailey Agency School of Fashion, and I'm Cynthia, this is my school. And you guys did a fabulous, fabulous job. And no matter what the outcome is, you guys should be very proud of yourselves for coming out and going for it, because that's what it's all about. Cynthia just mimicked everything that I said. It was as though she didn't have an original thought in her mind. I think that there's a possibility that Cynthia is a little intimidated by me. Yay! She's oh, so Kenya's joining us for lunch? Yeah. Kenya Moore is a former Miss USA. She's in the entertainment business. And I just thought, you know, she's new to Atlanta. She needs to meet people here that are doing big things. Oh, I like you, Miss Kenya. <laughs> and you know, Miss America, I'm all about pageantry. <laughs> yeah, me and Cynthia actually judged the pageant together last year. Didn't you and Cynthia do something together recently? Hey. <laughs> Jed asked me to judge their Beauty of the Week because back in the day, I was Beauty of the Week. Okay. So I guess they were holding the contest at her agency, so they asked me to come by, and I did, and there was a girl who came on the stage, 
and her bathing suit is cut so low. Girls, say no to crack. How do you come to an audition showing your coochie crack and your ass crack? I just said, wait a minute, hold up. I'm seeing booty crack and I'm seeing coochie crack. Whoa. And I'm like, look, sweetheart, this is inappropriate. No. So Cynthia was offended by your honesty? She didn't say anything to me. She had her little minion come around and say, oh, I think you're being rude to the girls. And I had to let him know, bitch, please. Oh. So then I had my security throw him out. Oh, Lord. So that was security. Oh, yeah. If you're the late and great Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, honey, Dick Clark, you need security. Kenya having a security guard is the most hilarious thing I've heard all day. My security threw him out. <laughs> Uh-oh. I like you. So, so I was done. What did she say at that point? Nothing. What was she going to say? Everything that she said was something that I had already said. I felt like I was in the Wizard of Oz, and she was <laughs> she was the scarecrow looking for a brain, because it was like she didn't have one of her own. Ah. <laughs> I'm enjoying you. Y'all you should be quite delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Is that about ready to start up? Yeah. OK. We're going to start with a light warm up. Keep your hips loaded. Come on, Miss Leeks. Join the Girl, fun. Come on here. I can really feel that in my arms. Wait a minute. How did this go down, up? Lady, <sighs> you cannot be done. I'm Lady. tired now. All right, anybody need water or anything? I do. Yeah. Oh, cheers. Yes. Cheers to you. You know, Nene's been out in Hollywood doing all yes. these different shows and everything. Yes. So I thought that she, since she's back in town and a lot of us have not all gotten together yet. Exactly, no. Then I would throw Nene a, a group congratulations. Well, we didn't want to do that. I don't want this to be about me. It would be really great if we invite successful women, independent women on the move. I like it. I like it. Like it. Well, everybody's invited. OK. Well, don't look so happy. <laughs> well, I'm happy, child. So what else is going on? My uh, my at my salon that I go to, the shampoo stylist. He said he saw you and Kenya and Candy out at a bar. Yeah, we did. We had lunch. So what's up with Kenya? I, I don't like her. She was really funny. You know, she's a you know, Miss America. So I asked her, has she met you yet? Uh, what's her name? Kendra. Kenya. Oh, Kenya. Kenya. I was actually having a big casting at my school. You know, doing the Jet Beauty of the Week. Turns out she was a Jet Beauty of the Week. You know, so she says anyway. And um, just in conversation, she was great on the phone. And, you know, she came over and completely was a whole nother person. I'm not even sure if she even spoke when she got there. It was just really, really disappointing. No, so okay. did it end on a peaceful note? I mean, I know Kenya's not coming back to the bail agency. <laughs> so I'm good with it. Shall I live? I mean, what did she have to say? I'm sure my name came up in conversation. Well, she said that, you know, I wasn't there, and I'm not much for gossip, but she, you know, had some mixed feelings about what happened. Of course, she is a Miss America, so maybe When that... was she Miss America, oh, yeah. honey? How many years ago was that? This is 2012. Hey, well, you know, give her the benefit of that. I mean, Phaedra, I'm just going to be honest. You know, I have nothing against her. I think she's a, a great businesswoman. Matter of fact, she's invited. She can come to uh, the Power of the Mixer as well. But it's not going to be a situation where you're going to come and disrespect my business and me. And then we're going to get together and you're going to make up. No, I'm too old and I'm too busy to be going back and yeah. forth. It's going to be a no for me. Social time is over. <laughs> Social time is over. Social time is over. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so no. much for your time. Well, thank no you. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. All right, thank you. Look like you belong on a pageant runway. You got to do the wave, though. These are she your does look like she's going to the White House. <laughs> Are you? Yes. If not, I'm going back to my black house. <laughs> Hi. Hello, ladies. Hey, don't you look so well? Thank you, darling. Hi, Kim. How are you? Hi, Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Hi, Candy Coded. What's up? How are you doing? You look beautiful. What was going on? You can't see. has a kind of wardrobe malfunction. I do. You can see completely through. Can everyone please come around to the pool area? What I do for you. Then Kimberly. I just want to thank all you guys for coming out tonight. I was really inspired to do this event because Nene has inspired me in so many ways. She Aww. is just such a grinder, such a hard worker. I and love you all. I love you, Candy. My my friendship with her means a lot. Phaedra. I love you. Keep keep doing it. I, I know it's not easy. I'm a woman myself guys, and you don't have any business. I'm gonna throw you a party next week. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you a party the week after that. Bye. Bye. I will take no tears. Oh my God. Okay.
enough of the clown show. <laughs> Listen, I just want to thank you all for coming. I know it's Cynthia's event. And I think it's really sweet that Cynthia would throw a party for her BFF. And I hope it inspires all of us to be kind and good to each other. For Kenya to feel entitled enough to take the microphone and make speeches, just that was a little tacky. Nene, I want to grab you for a second. OK, sure. I know Cynthia's your girl. We kind of got off on the wrong foot. But I'm hoping that that doesn't affect what we might be able to have as a friend. Right. It doesn't matter. matter. She doesn't know you, so your relationship is what it is. But we were that having a she conversation. She would never. No, no, no. I'm just telling you. But what me and, and standing in here, response I'm to what to you're saying, I was just letting you know. Our, is this right. your talking head? I'm, I'm not no, sure I'm what's not happening. No, I'm not a talking head. Well, maybe a talking pretty head. Well. But I'm not a talking head. Okay. 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 No need for disrespect. No, no, never that. You know, I'm my own woman, and I get to know people for myself. The fact that you and Cynthia had anything will never stop me from, you know, giving you a chance. What year did you win, Kenya? No, I don't tell the year. That's like asking my age. Uh-oh. Well, I, mean, I know it was a long time ago. I just wanted to know, was, were you before or after Vanessa Williams? Really, Cynthia? Who doesn't know Vanessa Williams was the first black Miss America? You're embarrassing yourself. Oh, Vanessa is like 12 years older than me. Oh, are you serious right now? Like, grown people, for real, for real, it ain't that deep. If Miss USA could just take her gown, her sash, and her crown, and just wave her way right on out the door, I'd be very happy. I miss everything, so I'm good. Cynthia, I actually have a present for you. I'm very good friends with Vanessa Williams. She's like my icon, idol. She means the world to me. So she has a new book. Really? This out that she wrote with her mom. Who? Who did Vanessa who? Williams. Oh, Vanessa Williams. Yeah. And it's called You Have No Idea. Very interesting. <laughs> She was the first black Miss America. Are you serious right oh, now? Like, Ooh, child. So I got her to autograph it for you. So I want to give this to you as a gift. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. When she hands her the book, I have no idea what's going on. All I know is I'm looking at Kenya, and I know she's up to no good. This is just like an up to no good type of chick. So I was like, oh, it is on, on, on. You have no idea. OK, that sounds like a read. I'm just like, damn, Kenya, did you have to go in on Cynthia the day after her wedding vows? Honestly, the only thing I remember, I'm not from the pageant world. It's not like and I You don't have to be from up, the pageant like, world and know about history, though. That, no, 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 no. This is not about history. I'm very, very well versed in history. So what's your point? My, my point is this. Whatever it was, in any way, it was a compliment, OK? So do not get it twisted, OK? You're not complimenting me. It's not a compliment when you're ignorant. Well, I'm, I'm happy that you'll take that book and read it, because I, I, I love her. I read it from her. cover it to cover. Is... Thank you so much. I live for it's her. It's a good book, book too. Ooh. She wrote it with her mom. Very, very good reader, and I live for her. But this is a good present. Thank you very you're much. Welcome. Now, what else is going on? All right. Amen. So um, I know you've been itching to talk to me. Well, you know what? You definitely need to have the conversation. My thing was, when I invited you to the Bailey Agency, to be very honest with you, when you got there, I felt like you really, you know, was just disrespectful. I know, know you know the game. You audition for stuff all the time. You're an actress. And, yeah. you know, from what I understand, you model. So I know you know what an open call is. You get it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, if you don't like somebody, you just, they don't get the job. Simple as that. It's not about, like, breaking anybody's spirit, embarrassing all anybody, right. well, well, or here's any that kind of stuff. I'm never going to break another girl that's coming up behind us, their spirit. When I was trying to enter into Miss USA pageant, mm -hmm. I had to enter Miss Michigan first. Okay. I was wearing inappropriate attire. My boobs pushed up to right. here. I had rhinestones everywhere. I had, right. you know, the slits up to my, right. my rib cage. And the just, most. it was, I was doing the doing most. The most. Right. So one of the judges pulled me aside and he said, you can win. You have everything it takes. Mm -hmm. It's your, your attire. Mm. You're giving people the wrong impression. impression. I even had girls contact me that were at that audition, the one that had the coochie and the booty crap mm -hmm. showing, and said, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and I will never do that again. You've really helped me. I don't have a problem with constructive criticism, OK? 
My thing is, um, you know, I had just as many people reach out and say, oh my God, you know, I've been to so many open calls at the school. I've never felt so embarrassed before. Cynthia, listen, how you want to handle people in your environment is how you want to handle people in your environment. Exactly. I handle people a little bit differently. But in your so, environment, but that's your, it's my that choice. That was not your environment, honey. But it's the same thing. It's not your environment, Kenya. Okay. Okay. This is pretty it's interesting. Not your Kenya. Okay. Yes. We are on it repeat. was not your environment. Yes. If you invite me to your space, Kenya, I'm going to come and say, hey, what is it you need me to do? I no. Beautiful if out I here, then, You were going to be around. <laughs> What in the hell? She's falling down <laughs> on the ground now. But tell us, go ahead and bury it. Go ahead on. Go ahead on. At right. first, I thought they was going ham and cheese. <laughs> she looked like she laughing now. Well, that's good. Listen, we have to hug. Oh, I got it. Because <laughs> you know I would beat a dead horse now. We good, Kenya, right? We're good. Because you know I can always meet your face.